Tornadoes occur on every continent, except Antarctica, but more form over the central United States than anywhere else, in a zone called Tornado Alley. That's because conditions in the alley are ideal for creating tornadoes. Warm, humid air low to the ground moves north from the Gulf of Mexico and collides with cool, dry air high above the ground rolling in from the Rocky Mountains. The collision of air masses creates a supercell, a massive thunderstorm that has a strong, rotating updraft of air. Scientists aren't exactly sure what happens next, but the leading idea goes like this. The difference in speed between the faster high winds and the slower low winds causes the air in between to rotate around a horizontal axis. If one end of the rolling air gets caught in the updraft, it's bent upward and forms a funnel cloud. Its spin gets tighter and faster and the cloud gets longer. Rain or hail from the thunderstorm can then push down on the tail of the funnel cloud till it reaches the ground, forming a tornado. The top wind speed of most tornadoes is usually under 110 miles an hour, and most are on the ground for less than 10 minutes. However, extreme tornadoes are truly extreme. The longest tornado path was cut by the Tri-State Tornado on March 18, 1925. It tore up property for 219 miles, was on the ground for well over three hours, and killed 747 people. Which is why I'll be hanging out here in Antarctica with the penguins until tornado season is over. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Mark Fischetti. Thank you.